What's going on, guys? It's JT here with BlackBerryOS.com. I have an HTC first in my hand right now, and I'm going to uh, show you guys the latest version of BBM for Android. It's still in beta, uh, but it's running really, really well so far. So we wanted to just go over um, the features, show you guys how it's actually working right now, and some pretty cool things that uh, BlackBerry has been able to implement uh, in BBM for Android so far. As you guys can see, if anybody has actually used... Uh, uh, BlackBerry 10's BBM uh, you'll notice that it looks pretty much exactly the same right now on Android we have the same exact tabs down here with uh, chats contacts and groups uh, the contact layout is pretty standard um, same for groups as well on the left hand side we have the, uh, the chats contacts group updates invites something very very similar to what we're used to seeing um, on BlackBerry 10 uh, so that, that experience is pretty much exactly the same. Uh, the settings will be on the right hand side uh, just because we don't have the ability to swipe down from the top on Android. It's a little bit different. Um, so let's get into a couple uh, cool little things actually. Let me, I'm just going to actually delete my Z10 from the uh, from here so we can act, I can actually show you guys. One of the cool things is you can actually add uh, contacts via NFC on Android. You'll see it says touch to beam. So and if you press it, it will automatically um, add the new contact. And you can see right there that I just showed up. So let's send, a, send the BBM over here. And again, it's pretty, pretty instantaneous. It works really, really well. And we have the same exact uh, style layout within the chat as well. The, the only difference obviously being that the keyboard is going to be, in this case, it's the Google keyboard. Um, but aside from that, you have your emoticons down here. You can attach uh, different files. You can either attach a picture, uh, choose directly from one of your pictures in your gallery, or the voice notes. Right now, there's no, uh, you can't share locations or any of that stuff uh, like you can on BlackBerry 10. But this is pretty much the basic in terms of what... Um, what we can see. One of the cool things that I do want to show you guys is how the actual um, implementation of a BlackBerry 10 very uh, BlackBerry 10 look is, is shown off here. For example, if you click on a picture, you can see right down here the share button. I mean, this is just this is all BlackBerry 10. It's very very similar to what we're used to seeing. This back button right here, this menu button, all this is very much. Um, what we're used to seeing on the BlackBerry 10 OS and it's cool to see that BlackBerry has actually brought this over to the Android operating system within their own app so they haven't adopted <clears throat> a different style of of what their app their main app should look like but instead of bringing that uh, that feel that cascades feel over to BlackBerry 10 overall we've been really really um, impressed so far with how it's how it's functioning um, <clears throat> Again, it's solid. We don't have any any major issues with it. Actually, let me show you guys something really cool. Just thought that this was pretty pretty awesome. If you actually BBM someone on Android, you'll actually hear the same exact ringtone that you you're used to hearing um, on BlackBerry 10. So they've even brought over the the ringtone, which is really really cool. So um, <clears throat> groups are also working pretty well. There haven't been any issues there. Um, the BBM icon obviously is always present up here uh, to let you know that you're connected. You can start a chat. Oops, start a chat by clicking this button over here. So there's a few things that um, that are really really cool about BBM for Android. This is just a quick look. I'm sure uh, BlackBerry will still need to fix some other stuff um, as we move closer and closer to the launch date. They do have until September 21st uh, to get this out in time for the summer. As they promised, um, we'll see if they decide to, they're able to get it out before then, or if we'll see it at BlackBerry Jam Asia in Hong Kong on the 26th and 27th of September. So stay tuned to BlackBerry West. We'll definitely have some more um, as we get more and more info about BBM for 